waiting for you. The great thing about Legion is that it's a conversation. It leaves an opportunity for your imagination. I help people open their minds. Is this a cult? Season three is really unknown territory. We're going to see how lost you can get in this butterfly effect. I'm the magic man. Well, at the end of season two, David has left. His friends, the people he thought were his friends, turned on him. This is his version of the story. He's a bit detached from reality. Sid is trying to find David, and there was a lot of conflict between them. Where we left David is with the realization that, that he is mentally ill, actually, and that he has a real narcissistic personality disorder. He's gone in season three to create a place this Enlightenment house, surrounded by acolytes. How are you? We find him leading a, a cult. It's kind of a, a family, a commune. He started a cult, basically, filled with people who love him unconditionally. Sorry for the wait. Lenny is the person that she has always wanted to be, running this David cult. Sid is, you know, she's still clinging to, to some idea of being in love with David. But yeah, David's aims and ambitions seem to be sort of beyond that now. There's a sort of itching sense to, to complete the mission that he started out on. You remain here and we will kill David. At the beginning of the year, you find the D3 team and we very much know where David is and what our plans are. Hi, I'm David. All of a sudden, Switch comes in and everything is turned on its head. He realizes that he can't just hide. Why do you need a time traveler? It's about saving lives. Starting with mine. And that drives him into the past. Switch gives David the ability to jump within time. It's about really going back to, to unpick the whole mess of his life if he can. Open your eyes. This year, audiences are just in for a really big ride. It's this battle with time this year. There's a big emotional ride coming along with everything that Sid's going to be facing, everything that David's going to be facing. It's called love. Dealing with all the feelings that she has for him and knowing all the things that future Sid told her about what happens. With time travel, we're facing this question of where does time go and how do you interact with time? How brave are you to delve inside yourself? Calibrating synchronicity. I'm always just excited to see where the show takes us. Get in. It's an intricate show. It plays with reality a lot. It's surreal. It's just limitless, especially now with time travel in the mix. It asks a lot of the audience in terms of absorbing story in different ways. How do you surprise someone who can go back in time and warn him so? Noah Hawley being Noah Hawley, coming in fast and furious. When I watch the show, it's just a matter of where did I drop my jaw? It's our last season, and we're going to be wrapping up this story. You're just in time. It's going to be a really satisfying end to this journey. And we got to go. What's a great show? What story do you want to see? What's the emotional journey that you want to go on? My, my hope is that at the end of three years, you feel like you experienced a dramatic story that asks a lot of interesting questions, but in a very entertaining way that expanded your sense of what the medium of television could be.